One of the earliest examples of Christian identity in the Pentecostal movement is through its founder, Charles Fox Parham. Parham came in contact with the British Israel Doctrine, which was taught in Frank Sanford's cult school in Maine, and Sanford favored C. A. L. Totten's version of the British Israel Doctrine, which included the foundation for what would later become Christian identity. Parham was in favor of the pre-Adamite race theory and believed that God had created two races of people. One of them had everlasting human life while the other did not. Parham believed that the sons of God and the daughters of men from Genesis 6-2 represented both races, the very foundation for Christian identity. According to Michael Barkun, Parham's version of the British Israel Doctrine was in fact the white supremacist version. In his book, Religion and the Racist Right, The Origins of the Christian Identity Movement, Barkun wrote, Charles Parham regarded Cain's marriage to a woman from the land of Nod as the first step in the, quote, woeful intermarriage of races for which cause the flood was sent in punishment. Barkun's findings are further solidified by Parham's own words in his autobiography concerning the Azusa Street Revival. When Charles Fox Parham arrived in Los Angeles on October of 1906, after having been excommunicated from John Alexander Dowie's Zion City, he was shocked to find the interracial unity of the revival. He described those meetings, claiming that the people were, quote, all crowded together around the altar and laying across one another like hogs, blacks and whites mingling. This should be enough to bring a blush of shame to devils, let alone angels, yet all of this was charged to the Holy Spirit. You can learn this and more on william-branham.org.